Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Leos for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Leos, please, for their highest and greatest good. All right, we've got the King of Cups. So you could be a Cancer Leo cusp, or you could be dealing with someone with water in their chart. Ooh, this person showing up as a tower. So they're definitely a force to be reckoned with here. Aries Scorpio energy. Ooh, more Aries Scorpio energy. They're viewing you as the judgment card. What you're not seeing is the hanged man, Pisces energy in reverse. You are rocking someone's world here, Leo, all right? And we see the seven of swords in reverse. A lot of you, this is a secret admirer. I don't know what you've done to this person, but you are rocking their world. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And we have the queen of cups. So Leo, you have the king and the queen of cups. It's a perfect match soulmates, possibly twin flames here. This is a major paradigm shift. This is something coming in really unexpectedly, or at least you've been something extremely unexpected for this person. They're seeing you differently. They're a secret admirer. They want to move forward with you. Oh my goodness. Like I could stop the reading right here. I feel like those are your messages. It's a next level type love, or at least that's how they're viewing you. Ooh, but let's get into this king of cups. Why do we have this here for my Leo's? Why do we have the King of Cups here for my Leos, please? All right, we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. This is someone who may have been quite guarded. Now remember the King of Cups does not wear his heart on his sleeve. He's very loving, he's very devoted, but I also feel like he's very picky. And with the Seven of Wands in reverse, maybe you felt like this person had pushed you away or maybe they felt that way about you. But for a lot of you, I'm just seeing this person wants victory and they know they have to let their guard down in order to have that. So again, like you've just totally shifted this person's perspective and beliefs, not only about who you are, but like love and relationships and the Empress energy, Taurus and Libra energy, Leo. This person sees you as their divine counterpart. Some of you, they see you as the mother or father of their children. Um, some of you, this person, this Empress energy, it's just like they see growth and expansion and building something really beautiful here. Some of you, this person may have been a bit of a player in the past or a self-proclaimed bachelor or bachelorette. Wow, you have rocked their world tower energy, shifted everything for them. All right, and we see the three of swords. Okay, so they've been definitely heartbroken. Um, they've been, you know, betrayed in the past is what I'm getting. And we see the 10 of wands in reverse, but, you know, and I, and I get that. I feel like this person was so heartbroken. Now they could be a widow or a widower. Okay. They could also just be someone who was really, really hurt in the past by love. Um, but they're ready. It's like when, when they would given up hope or faith, boom, that's when they meet you or that's when they see, start to see you differently. They're ready to release their burdens. They're ready for a passionate new beginning. They are worried though about betrayal and heartbreak again but they see you as the judgment card. Now they might feel like you have other options. Some of my Leos you do. It could be somebody you're dating casually or like you meet them and you're, you know, you're dating other people. But the judgment card here is like this person feels like the decision is up to you. They see you as a next level type love. They see you in your power and in your glory, the queen of wands. The queen of wands gets a lot of attention. And so there you're, you're looking really good, Leo. And we see the ace of pentacles. They're seeing the potential here. A lot of you, this person wants children with you. Maybe you've discussed that. Maybe some of you there may have been an, or there may be or have been an unexpected pregnancy between you and this person. So just be aware of that. But this person is seeing you as this queen of wands. She's charismatic. She's powerful. She's successful. You know, like everybody kind of wants a piece of her. So I do feel this person's a little bit worried about that. With the hanged man in reverse, what you're not seeing is your love life is about to take off, especially for those of my Leos where you've either been just bored with the options out there or there really hasn't been anybody that interesting coming your way. With the hanged man in reverse, this person 
I mean, things are shifting in a major, major way. Seven of Pentacles, this is what you've been waiting for. This is what you don't see coming in. I also feel like that's the energy, this person's energy towards you. You are what they've been waiting for, preparing for. And with the Eight of Wands in reverse, this person wants to fight for this connection. They may have been a little bit guarded, but I almost feel like they're getting so much so much, so much information, so many messages, divine messages, signs and synchronicities, Leo, that you're the one. Now pay attention to the number sequence 777. It's coming through really strong. Somebody could be born in 77 or have a life path number seven. But this is somebody who's going to reveal secret feelings here for you, Leo. It's like they can't hold back anymore. And we have the Knave of Wands. It's going to be a very sexy, passionate connection. They're coming towards you quickly. All right. They're taking action, they're ready, and they want the Ten of Pentacles. A lot of you, you are going to end up marrying your soulmate here, point blank. You are going to marry your soulmate, and you may have family, blend families. You know, it's it's you and this person building something solid, stable, and secure together, the King and the Queen of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, there may be some karma that needs to be released or healed before this can happen or before they can come in. But I also feel like just you've been put on hold here, Leo, or maybe this person feeling like you're on hold, being on hold here. Um, but that's about to change. All of that is about to change. So just be the best and highest version of yourselves. You've got this person coming in. All I can say is you want to be prepared. Okay. And let's go ahead and see what other messages my Leos need to hear, please. What powerful, beautiful energy here in this reading. Spirit saying give it time, but this is going to be an unconditional, unconditionally loving situation. It's going to be balanced where there's an equal giving and receiving of, of affection. I can't speak. I'm getting like choked up and really excited. You're going to be falling in love with each other. Okay. This person could be a secret admirer or they may not be who you think. All right, right now they might not be showing you their emotions, okay? And this is going to be exactly what you need. This is going to help you move on from the past. It's also going to kickstart your love life and this person's. And look at that. At the bottom of the deck, we get this soulmate energy. So divine counterparts, soulmates. I mean, the king and the queen of cups is just a beautiful, loving connection. But then we also have all this wands and this fire energy. So you've definitely got something very passionate, very loving, but also... You know, it just feels like it just, it's what you've been waiting for. It's what they've been waiting for. Let's see what this person wants my Leos to know. All right, we have karma. I'm experiencing the most difficult lessons, not because they're new, but because I now understand what I have needed to learn and release. So that could be for you, could be this person. All right, so again, they've been heartbroken, three of swords, most likely betrayed in a previous connection. So they may be healing from that. My convictions have been put to the test. Again, tower moment. These paradigms are deeply ingrained in me, but you just like blow it out the water here, Leo. All right, and willpower. We will do this no matter what it takes. So they're bound and determined to make this work with you, to come towards you. And they're completely mystified by this connection. Our inexplicable connection has had quite an effect on me. Yeah, you can say the say that say that I guess I, <laughs> I can't speak. I'm so excited, you know, to say the least. That's what I was trying to say there to say the least. Wow. Inexplicable connection, mystifying this person. This is going to be, is this going to be crazy, Leo? This is going to be crazy, crazy in such a good way. All right. Um, so we see flirt. So some of you, you might be casually flirting with this person. Um, you know, again, this is a message to just put yourself out there, Leo, um, you know, if you are looking, you know, if, if you don't want to be single, make sure you're taking those steps to not be single. Let your friends help you. Some of you, you're going to meet this person while you're out with friends, or you're going to be set up, you know, uh, by friends. Some of you, this could be a friend that has secret feelings. And at the bottom of the deck here, spirit saying, this could be the one you are, you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Wow. Yeah. So again, some of you already know who this is. Others of you, this is going to come in. And again, you're going to rock this person's world, but this is also going to take you by surprise. Pretty, pretty fantastic. All right, Leos, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, also check out the description box if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Leos. Take care.